Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, occult pop culture history fans all over the world. My name is Robert Huddleston, and today we're going to discuss America's most high-ranking witch, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks spent 50 years as the front woman of a band named Fleetwood Mac, but most of you probably know her from Dogface 208's video where he longboards down the freeway drinking vodka and ocean spray. And she says, Now here you go again, you say you want your freedom, but who am I to keep you down? And that became famous again. That song was written in 1976. What are the odds that it becomes famous via the app that Trump wants to ban during the coronavirus? Lockdown. The world's most famous witch singing about freedom. Now, if you think I'm just, like, being pejorative calling her a witch... In 1972, she became famous for the song Rehanon about a witch, priestess, warrior, queen, which she read about in a fantasy novel and subsequently summoned. She, in the, between 72 to the latter part of the 70s, Mick Fleetwood, member of the band, lends his name. I'll be honest, I don't know whether he's a drummer or the guitar player. He's, I don't know what he does. Tall beard, long hair. Tall beard, long hair. Mick Fleetwood says that her performances of Rehanon took on a quality not present in the studio and that they were like unto an exorcism. I bet they were like unto an exorcism. Bet it was like unto a summoning. I bet it looked like some kind of ritual. 1976, she sacrifices her baby to the Canaanite god Moloch, her and Don Henley of Eagles fame's baby, and claims that, well, Fleetwood Mac, there wouldn't be a Fleetwood Mac were it not for sacrificing her baby to Moloch in 1976. But fast forward to now. She's had, like, 48 years to... Jet set around the world, practice black magic, do drugs, blow money, kill babies, make music. And due to the coronavirus, she now is a cosmic vampire. She wants you to stay in this year. I mean, 2020 is shot, but it was back in the summer she claimed that... At 72, she probably doesn't have much time left. That if she were to get the coronavirus, due to her age and her profession, that she would just be done. And that she has places to go, people to meet, albums yet to record. And that you should stay in, wear a mask, don't gather, don't travel. If we all have to sacrifice this year for Stevie to have a 73rd year or a 74th year... 75th year, doesn't matter if this was your year that you were 13 and you were going to punch that bully and win that fight or kiss the girl or jump something on your bike or win whatever ribbon you've been dreaming about since you were 8. If you were 21 this year, if this is the year you were going to graduate, none of that. So Stevie might have another year. Now Stevie had 50 years on top. Stevie wouldn't give up. Stevie sacrificed her own baby so she could keep going. And now she wants you to sacrifice your... You don't get this 13th summer, this 21st summer. I don't get this 35th summer back. That's cool with Stevie Nicks. Because she needs a 73rd summer. Like I say, imagine being 72 in 1972 and saying to Stevie Nicks, don't have your Rehanon summer. This summer where you become famous and summon demons and just do mountains of coke. Give that up because Martha Washington might die. 
Well, Stevie Nicks would have laughed at you and then cast a spell on you. I mean, four years later, she murdered her own baby so she could keep going. She would sacrifice all of your summers. And all of your babies. And all of your baby's summers. So that she might keep going. So be real careful when you watch Dogface 420-208's video. And there's a pretty song in the back. Be careful when you see Miley Cyrus, that other witch protege of hers, out saying that they're doing some digital duet. Be careful every time somebody tries to uh, impress Fleetwood Mac upon you. She's a witch. She should be shunned. She should be remembered, not for music, but that she proudly sacrificed her baby to Moloch so that she could make that music. I don't know what all these synchronicities mean, all these coincidences, but that America's most famous witch song about freedom gets resurrected on the Chinama app that Trump tried to ban during the lockdown. That's too many re even for me. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, share. God bless.